everyone. So November is Native American Heritage Month. And so this year I have opted to cook a recipe from the sous chef indigenous kitchen cookbook again. And I did a big series on Native American cuisine uh, last November. So I will put the link uh, down below. But uh, this year we are making a recipe that uh, really brings together a lot of different recipes from this book. So there's a lot of uh, color, there's a lot of flavor and texture as well. And I think that you guys are going to really uh, love it. Especially if you are someone who celebrates Thanksgiving, it is obviously worthwhile to educate yourself on Native American culture and history and present day matters so that, you know, if you, if you choose to have a conversation about it someday, that conversation can be educated and open about, you know, Native Americans and their position um, in America. So, yep, I <laughs> hope you guys all uh, enjoyed this recipe. Okay, so I'm gonna start with these frozen berries that I have thawed and we're gonna make the berry sauce first. About a half a cup of water. Okay, so you just wanna cook it slowly just for a few minutes until it thickens up a little bit and then we'll sweeten it up with some maple syrup at the end. Okay, now so we're gonna make the corn cakes. Got three cups of water. Add in a good pinch of salt. And then we're gonna bring that to a boil first. And then I'm gonna add in my cornmeal. Okay, so after this comes to a boil, I've lowered down the heat just a little bit because I'm going to be adding in my cornmeal while whisking. I'm just gonna switch to a wooden spoon. And this apparently, according to the book, needs to cook for, is it like 30 to 40 minutes just on low. And then we form little cakes out of these. So we'll be here for a while. So these now we can um, just pan fry. Okay, so I'm just searing all of this and the book says between five to 10 minutes until I can see some color.
Okay, so next let's talk about protein. So the recipe, Chef actually uses bison for this, and so if you do uh, eat meat, feel free to use that. Um, what I've done is I've substituted just for these um, dried seitan strips. I tend to use them uh, quite, quite often, and what you do is you just pour it in with some boiling water. And how I flavor, or just, there's no flavor to it. So how I get kind of that meaty flavor uh, back into it is I usually just add a little bit of, so this is like an unsalted Marmite. This is yeast extract. So anytime I am needing a recipe that calls for, you know, just general meat, something that is not really too seasoned, uh, this is what I will do first. So leave that aside for a couple of minutes. It will soak up, it will get to kind of meaty pieces, and then we will continue with uh, the seasoning. And what the recipe says is to just season it with a bit of salt, and then also some uh, juniper berries, which <laughs> going to be interesting. So this will kind of smell like gin. <laughs> Just crush that a bit, yeah. Maybe it's just a little bit. Okay. And so I will just leave this um, and then we'll put it all together. Same pan that we used for our corn cakes. So this has gotten some really nice color and char on it as well, which will be pretty for later. We'll add in our bison and the juniper. Okay, so the last thing is to deglaze the pan with um, a bit of corn stock. So you can actually make that yourself. Um, there's a recipe in the book for it. Or uh, I just took I just took the liquid from a can of corn. So that's what I'm going to use. going to turn the heat off and this guy is ready uh, for plating with the rest of our ingredients. And it's very restaurant style because I believe this recipe came from Chef Sherman's um, it's a food truck uh, recipe so everything you can just have it made have it be warm and then put it together um, a la minute. So I believe there was a bed of these corn cakes. So I'm gonna just do maybe something like that. Get some height on that. Um, let's see. The sauce. Okay, so it's thickened up quite a bit. Actually, just I can maybe just thin it down a bit. Uh, he used corn nuts, and I think to get it a bit more gourmet, I'm gonna just crush them up just a little bit. Whole pieces, but also side pieces. There you go. And he ended it with some sprigs of stuff, so I think that's what I'm gonna do as well. So there you go, voila.